Hi, I'm Skyler. To print from your iPad, you're going to have to do a few different things. First of all, get yourself a printer. Ideally, you want to find one that has AirPrint built into it. So an HP, Epson, or Canon are pretty good bets. So you can get one of them for around 99 bucks that has AirPrint. Once you got that thing, plug it into your computer and get it set up in whatever means your computer requires. If it's a Mac, it should be pretty straightforward. I think PCs are pretty straightforward too, but I don't have much experience. Once you've done that, and assuming that you've got a Wi-Fi network in your home, pull out your iPad and tap this button right here, share. Beep. From here, you've got a few different options, including right here, print. So tap print, select your printer. So this is where you would find out if you'd set your printer up correctly. In this case, no AirPrint printers found, which is funny because I know that we've got a printer in the next room, except I know also that it's not Wi-Fi or not AirPrint. In comes this really sweet application called HandyPrint. HandyPrint just came out fairly recently um, and works with iOS 4, iOS 5, and iOS 6 and can turn any legacy printer into an AirPrint printer, which is awesome. So I would definitely check that out if you have a really sweet printer or an older printer that you want to work with AirPrint or with your iPad. So again, once you've got your printer set up, and if it's not AirPrint, get HandyPrint, then tap the share button, tap print, select your printer, and then you can determine how many copies. Uh, certain applications allow you to do duplex print printing um, as well as collation. Uh, so if you were to print from pages or something like that, you would see a slightly different printer view. I'll show you. So we go over to pages and tap the wrench in this case, share and print print. You can say print a certain range. Pretty useful stuff. I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching.